Yo guys, what's going on? My name's Grand Theft Logan, and this is the most awesome base in Seven Days to Die. Now, as you can tell, I am in creative mode right now, flying around, and I have a base that I made that I think is one of the most awesome ones that you could probably find within creative mode in the game. Now, as you can tell, I started off with a castle construction. Um, I thought that that would be the best. I'm in Parishton here, which if you don't know is a place that it always rains and it's filled with a lot of zombies and it's not exactly the most friendly place in the world. But I decided to build here because where else are you going to try to build the best base ever if not in a place called Parishton? So like I said, as you can tell, there is steel block construction. Now this is the strongest block in game. It's going to protect us the most from anything that could possibly come our way. Next we have iron bars that provide us protection from spider zombies as well as anyone else that might want to try to climb over or climb on the backs of their friends. I made this two out. Not only did I make it two out on top so that they can't get into our towers, I put it vertically on the sides and on the ledge piece here. This ensures that they cannot just climb up the wall and climb around. They are trapped. They are not getting inside of our base, not inside this courtyard, not on my watch. Next we have the centerpiece of the entire base and that is the courtyard. Now as you can see here, we have a cobblestone pathway. Why not make it nice, right? It's the apocalypse, but that doesn't mean we can't have nice things. From the cobblestone walkway, you will see a center garden. Now this is a community garden. When I built this base, I went in with the idea that up to 10 people could live comfortably inside of this premises. Not necessarily in this layout, but I think everybody would have their own little hut, their own little space. But we need a community center point, so why not have a garden? We have a barnwood covered garden with potatoes growing. Anybody can crop here. Anybody can plant here. It is a great place for the community to get together and share food. What better to do in the apocalypse, right? Now after that, we have the gazebo. Now the gazebo isn't really a needed feature, but it's like, why not, right? We're in the apocalypse. It doesn't mean that we can't have anything nice. I mean, look at this. Nice little gazebo. It keeps you out of the rain. It keeps you from getting wet. There is nothing better than that. Next, across the courtyard is the first hut of two, and that is the bedroom hut. It is a nice brick building. We go inside and we see immediately a desk with two chairs. Why not bring a friend when you're planning out how you're going to live the apocalypse, right? We have a king size bed with two nice little nightstand candles there, and it is a perfect cozy little spot. It isn't huge, it isn't going to win any awards, but what it will do keeps you safe. We got durable brick, it's warm in here, it's inviting. What more do you need, right? Okay, so moving on from there, we have the supply hut. Now, this is, I needed a place where we could store food, we could cook things, we could store other supplies, anything we possibly needed. So I built a second hut that's similar to the bedroom hut. Now in this hut what we have are we have candles lighting the wall to bring in natural light inside that we don't have to use a mining helmet for because maybe you don't have one of those yet. We have two fires going, none of them have anything in it but I figure you need to cook your food if you're going to get it and wear better than in an enclosed space. Next, we have our medical supplies and our food supplies, as well as beverage coolers. You need to keep everything as safe as possible in the apocalypse. What better than in here? So that's the supply hut. It's not exactly amazing in anything. It has everything that you need. It has plenty of storage, beverage coolers, and a level three vault door guarding it, just like the house did. So next, you might be thinking, well, Logan, where am I supposed to do all of my work at? Well, I'll tell you where you can do that at and it's in here. I decided to go in one of the towers and build a place for you to work. Now that place is in here. Now we have crates in here to do all of your storage. We have five different forges. You're not going to need any more forges. This is as many as anybody could ever need. You're gonna be able to smell and create anything your heart desires. Next, we needed some workbenches. As you know, the workbench is great for crafting. Why not have three of them? Why not have as much stuff as you could have going at one time? And that also helps if you have friends living here with you. You don't wanna have one person hog in the crafting bench, so why even do that? So that is the forge room. Warping down to the front of the entire base is another tower, and this is the weapons room. Now, we needed a place to store our weapons. Now, as you can see, we don't have a ton of crates down here, but each crate can hold quite a lot of things, so there's no reason you would ever need more in terms of ammunition. And you may be wondering, like, this is all great. You have this amazing base, you have these iron bars, but how are you actually supposed to fight off 
zombies in a horde or if they just happen to stray around this is the answer right here now you could put this in any of the other towers also i only have it in this one right now but if we go up here we can climb up we have mobile spotlights going and we can actually shoot anything from here right so we are completely guarded and we could go even down here and shoot from here now there is not currently a way to get back up there unless you were to go through the doors but like i said this is this is something that's easily doable we could easily change that and we probably will at some point in time so yeah guys that is the current version the current state of my base i think that's pretty cool it is a massive base as you guys can currently see it is on this giant plot of land it is in Parishton. there is tons of stuff to do around here there's tons of stores to loot it is the perfect defense fortress and i think that something like this would be really cool in game if they had castles or something like that so with that being said if you're new here leave a like on this video and consider subscribing. I post daily video gaming content and I have a season two of Seven Days to Die. I'm going to link in the description that is doing pretty well and gets a lot of views, a lot of likes. I think that you guys would really dig it and you can see my journey through Seven Days to Die. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.